So, seems if you try and call the Russian Foreign Ministry today, you'll be given three slightly different options on its answer, answer phone from normal, but just for today only. Добрый день. Вы позвонили в посольство России. Если вы хотите заказать звонок российского дипломата вашим политическим конкурентам, нажмите один. Чтобы воспользоваться услугами русских хакеров, нажмите два. По вопросу вмешательства в выборы, нажмите три и ждите начала избирательной кампании. Обращаем внимание, в целях повышения качества услуг все разговоры записываются. You have reached the Russian embassy. Your call is very important to us. To arrange a call from a Russian diplomat to your political opponents, press one. To use the services of Russian hackers, press two. To request election interference, press three and wait until the next election campaign. Please note that all calls are recorded for quality improvement and training purposes. It's true, it's real. It is, of course, April Fool's Day, and the ministry's little prank there in reference to allegations of Russian meddling in the U.S. election process. America's major news outlet, though, CNN, was very quick to pick up on the spoof message today. The attempt to sort of laugh off the very serious allegations. I've been living here for a few years. I do know the Russians actually have a very wicked sense of humor. I think the problem is some Americans may not take this as being so funny. Seems not. As yet, no evidence has been put forward, of course, to back up the claims of alleged Russian involvement in U.S. politics.